presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, all about transitions in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. There's a lot of confusion that comes up with transitions in Pro Presenter. Um, and part of this is because there is a more obvious way to change transitions in one layer than in others. So people think, oh, I'll just do all the changing that I need to change and then everything will be great. And then they're confused why they don't get the results that they anticipate. So I thought that we'd uh, take a look at it and I could share you something that even I didn't know um, up until very recently. Not that I know it all, just you know, I spend a lot of time in ProPresenter. So here we are in ProPresenter, as I said, and the first two things you should see is down here we have these transition buttons, they're orange, and these that are purple. So the first of these is the uh, cut transition. If you mouse over that, you see that. Same up here, cut. The second one is the dissolve transition. And then the third is like the funky everything else transition that most of the time you should never ever use. But I'll talk about that in just a second. So you'll notice here that down here where I have the cut transition chosen, there's no time indicator. That's because a cut is instantaneous. It takes place between the time one frame ends and the next frame begins. So that's just the amount of time it takes. Otherwise, it would be a different kind of transition. The other transition is the dissolve here. And you'll notice that I have a uh, marker where I can make that as up to five seconds, or I could cut it down to, you know, even one-tenth of a second. So I've got a lot of uh, flexibility here. Normally I leave it on like a second or maybe even a half a second depending on what I'm trying to do. So those are the two places that you have these. The purple transition, that is for the live video if you had multiple live video sources, or also it's for the uh, media bin. So if I go into my uh, backgrounds here, uh, you'll notice that when I select this one, here let me change over to um, an output that has that. Okay, so when I go from this one to this one, I would expect that this is going to be a cut, and it is. Now, I said that this was a uh, this purple transition was for the media bin, but that's not actually totally accurate in every way. Because for foregrounds, the same slide that is on the slides layer is, that's the transition that you use. So if I click on this, You'll notice that it dissolved, and then when I click on this one, it dissolved. And uh, if you haven't seen before, these two playlists are not native in ProPresenter 7. Uh, they were in 6, 5, etc. So I just added those just because it makes sense to me, but you don't have to have those. So I know that everything that I've added in this playlist is backgrounds, and everything in this one is foregrounds. So uh, let's say that I change this to the advanced uh, crosshatch. Now you would think if you're thinking the Pro 6 way that this would uh, crosshatch into that, but it doesn't. It just dissolves. And same here. Still just dissolves. So that's where things are different. Now if I go into my backgrounds, you'll notice that I get that funky crosshatch effect here. So um, that is what's going on. So this 
transition down here is for backgrounds and it's also for um, the live video sources. So that's the first thing that you should know. This transition up here is for foregrounds and the slides layer. So if I go into, um, actually let's do uh, and can it be. So if I go into that, knowing, well, let's put that on, uh, yeah, maybe a reveal thing. That'll make sense. So we do that and see how it kind of reveals like that. So, again, that's not the perfect transition. You can see that it's over my face. So, I'm going to get rid of that. The, um, so, those are the first two transitions. Now, notice if you hide the media bin, they go down together, but the colors remain the same. So the orange color for um, the slides layer and foreground videos and foreground stills for that matter. That stays right here. So if I wanted to go back to a dissolve, I could click there. And the um, background transition and also the live video transition goes right back here. And it is purple. Orange foreground and slides, purple, background and media, uh, background and live video. So that's the first thing. But you'll notice that I've got a little something here. What is going on here? Well, in Pro Presenter 7 and actually 6, uh, you can change slides on a per, you can change the transition rather on a per slide basis. So how you do that, right click and go to um, transitions and then you can select whatever transition you want. Now it could be that um, you don't want that anymore. That you'd rather instead of having this swap transition which is the current one selected you want to clear that out. You might think that uh, you would go to uh, clear right here, but that's only going to clear out your recents. So what you actually need to do is click on default right there, and that makes that go away. The other thing, and by the way, there is also, if we go back into the media bin, you can do the same thing for live videos. You can add a transition to the live video, or for foregrounds, right click, transition, or for backgrounds, right click, transition. So you can change that on a per item basis, whether it's a background, foreground, or if it is a live video. One other place that you can change the transition is you can change an entire song. So let's right click and go to edit slide. And once we do that, we can find right here, choose transition. So I can change this transition on the entire slot, uh, song before I click on anything else. Um, let's change that to, I don't know, the one I hate the most, the 3D cube spin. So now we go back into show. And you'll notice that now this entire song is like that. So that is a little something about all the power that you have in ProPresenter. But as it turns out, with great power comes a lot of different choices. You thought I was going to go somewhere different, didn't you? If you like this content, I bet you'd like my uh, ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. If you would, just head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. 
just put in your name and email address and I'll uh, automatically create a login for you. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.